Alright, so um, I had this uh, Spiral 2 by AEE. Um, battery, if you look at it, it's kind of swollen. You see it swollen here. So what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to take this apart and just see what's wrong with it. Uh, this came new out of the Spiral 2 um, drone. So I'm going to go ahead and take this apart. And it should be relatively easy to take apart. It's not like a DJI battery. Um, you can see the charging port here. Alright, so it's a smart battery. If I push this, there's nothing. Uh, I've tried charging it and can't charge it. But I'm pretty sure that the battery is um, swollen. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it. Uh, see if it's any good or not. Um, I try to get this under warranty, but due to um, COVID-19 restrictions and whatever, I end up buying another one. Uh, I got one out of uh, China. Uh, it was actually a decent price. I think I paid 38 bucks for it. Um, put it in the, my drone and it works fine. Um, this is the one I'm going to look at. So. Um, if I mess it up, it's no big deal. But I'm just going to see if I can tear it apart and see what's inside of it. Uh, it's maybe something I could fix. But I'm pretty sure if it's the battery itself, I'm pretty much hosed on that one. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be any good. So uh, if you notice on the bottom of it, there's six screws. There's one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that's there to tie this in. So. I'm pretty sure there's some screws holding this in. Uh, there should be like a circuit board on top of here. And the main battery should be down here. So let me go ahead and tear it apart and just see exactly what's going on inside of it. So I'm going to go ahead and take the six screws out. That's one. That's two. That's three. Do you need to do oh, take them out in a certain order? Not really. Um, would you void the warranty by doing this? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, I didn't. I couldn't get anywhere with um, AEE, and they're trying to get in touch with these people. It takes weeks before they even reply to you. Uh, then he finally did reply to me, and I said, "Well, can I buy one so it's locally?" Uh, it'll end up costing me like 60 bucks to buy just one battery. Oops, I just lost one. I just lost um, one battery. But yeah, 60 bucks is a little too much. Um, I ordered it from China. <laughs> and yeah, it, it took a while to get here. It took um, 30 days, almost 30 days to get um, from China to my location. So um, if you don't mind waiting that long for a battery, then. I'd highly recommend you get it from China. Uh, everything's made in China, anyways. So. Alright, so I'm so basically just doing taking this apart. And make sure I got these things unscrewed all the way. Seems like you're catching. Here, like a metal plate or something. Let's see. There's a button. So I'm pretty sure there's a screw for that. Uh, let's see. Should just pop off. Okay, there it goes. Just caught on the side here. So I'm gonna pop that off, pop this off. All right. And there it is. Inside of it. So let me just. Yeah, I can see the battery swollen. Let me go ahead and take this thing out. Looks like. Looks like one of the little rubber grommets kind of got melted. Uh, let me take it apart here and I'll show you here in a second. And I pull this thing out. Oh, that's the metal piece making all the noise. Huh. Well, it looks like a place to put the screw, but there is no screw in here. In there. It just sits in there. It's like that. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. Alright. I'm just going to put my screws on the side. But yeah, this one here is definitely swollen big time. You see the swollenness on it. See that? 
See how swollen that is. The other one don't look too bad. This side here, this one here, just this one is extremely swollen. Hmm. Maybe nothing I could do with it as far as replacing it. Unless I can find a source that supplies these batteries and now I can just re-solder these. Not much there to it and you have your black lead, your, your yellow, blue, and red. And you got this, which is your port for charging it. I won't turn it on though, or try to plug it in because I could already see it swollen. If I do that, it'll just swell even more, and chances are it will catch a fire or explode. Um, so, yes, yeah, it's, it's not worth it. So, we would actually have to dump this into a um, uh, recycling place that takes batteries. So, um, then nothing I can do with this one. This one is trash. So, um, looks like just almost looks like circuitry going to each one of these, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It should be all the leads on this side. This must just be tape. And here's the specifications of the batteries. It looks like it's a 11.1 volt. Um, 2500 um, milliamps and of course it tells you not to throw it away okay. so. and I think I'll probably show it to you upside down so that's it right there maybe it'll close in on it zoom in maybe All right, well, that's how you basically take it apart. Uh, not much to it. I mean, it's easy to take apart, but what good is it going to do unless you know if you, unless you have some batteries for it? I'm just thinking if I do have any kind of these batteries, but I don't think I do. Because the only one's wrong is this one here. The only one's bad. But it looks like the leads go from each one. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely just trash. Uh, nothing I'm gonna do with it. I'll cut the I'll cut the leads off. And I'll probably just put it back together. Or just recycle and just take dump I'll take this to re the recy uh, battery recycles and throw it away. Um so yeah that's so this is a brand new uh, AEEE Spiral 2 that um, I had already uh, imploded battery on it. So uh, yeah, um, then when I got the new bat, new one uh, for it, and if you're curious what the AEEE um, looks like, uh, the drone. Let me grab one real quick and I'll show you. So the drone. I did fly it once just to make sure it does work. And this is the drone that this battery came off from. And, uh, the battery that I bought for it does not say um, AAA uh, Spiral. Spiral. So if you are looking for one, the batteries that you will need for it, you can see that this is a new unit. I flew it once um, because I needed to try out the new battery. And the battery that I got for it was the Shadow Pro. It was the Shadow Pro. It's the exact same thing as this one. 
it's identical. Uh, all right. So if you're looking for a battery um, and you don't want to pay the 60 bucks for one, I believe you can get um, three from uh, RC Hobbyist and um, for the Shadow Pearls, you can actually buy three of them for just under 100 bucks. I think it's nine dollars, and um, I think that's a good deal. So better than paying 60 for one. So and you can see that this one works. So I, I flew it. I got to halfway so I could put it away. Um, so I discharged it to about half. So it'll be good so I can set it away for for now. But yeah, that's. So, so I did get myself a replacement battery for it, so, which is nice. And so I got the case for this, so this is the drone. Um, does it work okay? Yeah, it does. It works fine. Um, it doesn't re it's not really stabilized, and I need to do some adjustments on it to make it more stable. Um, but oh no, it's just not that bad of a drone, I guess. But it bite when the you know the battery was able to work on it. Uh, so it comes with a nice case, though. So, yep. So that's it for taking a battery apart for a a triple E. Spiral and take putting them back together. So if you do you have, find a place that you can buy the spare batteries, all you're gonna do is replace. They they should come with the LED, the the, the red, the green, the white, and the blue wiring. Just resolder them back into here. Um, there should be four screws put in the board to the case here. Make sure you just unscrew it. You don't even really have to unscrew it really, but I would. Just gonna make it easier to work on. All right, so you take those four screws off, and then it just pops right off. Uh, it's not really much to it. Um, and then you can just unsolder these, or, or you can cut these. All right, since these are already bad, cut these, and then just unsolder them, and then solder the new ones onto it. And it should be working. Um, I'm pretty sure there's nothing wrong with the controller board, but there's probably uh, we can test it out. But um, I don't have any other batteries for this, so the, I don't see the purpose of even testing it because what good is it going to test it if I can't, I mean, can't even find batteries for it. Alright, so that said, um, hope you enjoyed it. So uh, this is just taking apart a AEEE Spiral 2 drone battery, All right. which is relatively pretty easy to take apart. All right. Only had the six screws. And then if you're taking the controller board out, you got another four. So a total of 10 screws total. Uh, and then just regular uh, mini Phillips head is all you need to take it apart. Okay. And if you're going to replace the battery, of course, you're going to need a soldering iron. That's about it. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And so this is... This will be one of many uh, stuff I'm going to do. I think uh, I'll be doing some more... Um, um, showing about different items and um, working on different um, controllers and stuff and showing you how to clean them and work on them. Uh, we'll continue on from there. Alright, hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe and I should have more contact coming up soon. Alright, bye.